Are you one of the many obsessed viewers of HBO's new crime drama, True Detective? If so, you may find this video interesting. I will be discussing the inspiration behind this critically acclaimed series. Nick Pizzolatto, the show's creator and writer, has called the series title an ironic reference to the true detective genre of pulp fiction that was particularly popular during the early 20th century. In my opinion, it is important to explore the origins of this genre of fiction because evidently it has expanded into many different mediums of entertainment today. Back in the early 20th century, one of the pioneers of this genre of fiction was a man by the name of Carol John Daly. He was a crime fiction writer and credited with creating the first hard-boiled story. This is a literary genre that goes hand-in-hand -hand with crime fiction, especially detective stories. Carol John Daly established this style of writing, in which the protagonist deviates from the traditional emotions of apprehension, terror, and awe, and rather encompasses a cynical attitude towards these emotions. I know it sounds complicated, but Daly's work has influenced this genre up to contemporary crime fiction today. In memory of Carol John Daly, and to appreciate his influence on the medium, I'll provide a biography of this great writer's life. On September 14, 1889, John Daly was born in Yonkers, New York, to Joseph F. Daly and Mary Brennan Daly. He attended Yonkers High School before going on to De La Salle Institute and the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York. Initially, Daly pursued a career on stage. After giving up on this dream, he became a projectionist and later owned and operated theaters in New York, Atlantic City, and Ashbury Park, New Jersey. Daly married Margaret C. Blakely in 1913, and they had one son, John Russell Daly. Carol John Daly's writing career took flight in October of 1922, when one of his stories entitled Dolly was published in the popular Black Mask magazine. He followed that success with another Black Mask story titled Roarin' Jack, published under the alias John D. Carroll. His most notable works include The Private Eyes Tale of Three Gun Terry and The False Burton Combs. In an April 14, 1934 edition of Detective Fiction Weekly, Daly's work premiered on the front page with the story The Killer in the Hood. Over the course of his career, he wrote many crime fiction stories and novels, establishing himself as a leader in the naturalistic school of crime writers. In terms of his life, Daly lived through both World Wars and the Great Depression. However, unlike many authors at the time, the recurrent themes in his work reflect more in his personal life than these major events in history. His stories consistently deal with men who are in danger of being killed, commonly by organized crime or by crooked cops. The most recognized themes throughout his writing grapple with earning affection from women, racism through the Ku Klux Klan movement, and enjoying the small pleasures of life. His writing and thematic elements within his stories have been very impactful in crime fiction to date. Carol John Daly passed away in Los Angeles in 1958, but his influence in the medium is evident today, most notably through the recent True Detective series.